Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen, Merlin flight testing continues advancing. Drone Tag calls out Dubai for copycat design. And Klein Vision debuts $1 million flying car. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight, from electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. Merlin flight testing continues advancing. Merlin's flight testing campaign continues to rapidly progress with its certification-ready Cessna Caravan at Quonset State Airport in North Kingstown, Rhode Island. Recent test flights validated core system functionalities including flight guidance and auto throttle. These assist the aircraft in maintaining its desired flight path and automatically manage airspeed using engine thrust. Upon successful completion of these functional validations, the campaign will advance to more intelligent and complex flight autonomy. Matt George, CEO and founder of Merlin, said, quote, Kicking off our flight test campaign last year marked our transition from R&D to STC validation and certification. As we continue testing and integrating additional core functionalities of our high assurance autonomy platform, we're proving our ability to build and deliver a highly assured system capable of operating in real world operations, including complex military missions, end quote. Flight guidance integrates with aircraft systems to control the aircraft's trajectory and speed throughout all phases of flight. This provides lateral and vertical guidance while reducing the pilot's workload. Auto throttle adjusts the engine power setting to maintain target airspeeds in all flight phases as it works in conjunction with flight guidance to ensure smooth and consistent control of the aircraft's speed. Merlin previously gained FAA approval for its custom remote data concentrator, as well as acceptance from the U.S. Air Force for its airworthiness plan for testing the KC-135. After the break, UK issues military type certificate for MQ-9B UAS. For over 30 years, the Massive Sport Plane Resource Guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all-new Digital Sport Plane Resource Guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated, and even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon. www.sportplane.com Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our next Gen Minute. UK issues military type certificate for MQ-9B UAS. The Military Aviation Authority of the UK announced it issued a military type certificate to the Royal Air Force's Protector RG Mark I uncrewed aircraft system, also known as the MQ-9B, manufactured by General Atomics Aeronautical Systems Inc. GAASI is the first manufacturer of large unmanned aircraft to receive an MTC, and it's based on its meticulous compliance with STANAG 4671, the NATO standard for UAS airworthiness. Securing the MTC has been the long-term goal of GAASI since the inception of the MQ-9B program in January 2014. Flight Sim Expo set for late June. Flight Sim Expo is coming back for 2025, taking place at the Rhode Island Convention Center from June 27th to 29th. It's nice to see the Flight Simulation Association keep up their tempo in the industry as one of the few cost-effective, accessible routes to onboard newcomers into aviation. Sim Fidelity is worlds apart from where it was in decades past, and each year the association finds ways to show the computer avoidant what they've been missing. Advances have brought out entirely new dynamics to the home flight deck thanks to vastly increased computer power. NASA welcomes David Gallagher as JPL Director NASA Acting Administrator Janet Petro appointed David Gallagher as the next and 11th Director of the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. 
Caltech manages the JPL for NASA, and Gallagher will replace Lori Leshin, who has decided to step down from the position on June 1st. Gallagher is an electrical engineer and has been with the lab since 1989. Besides managing the Spitzer Space Telescope, he led the team that built and tested the Widefield Planetary Camera 2 that helped correct the spherical aberration on NASA's Hubble Telescope. Private Japanese spacecraft prepares for lunar landing. iSpace announced that its lunar lander, dubbed Resilience, has orbited the moon. The spacecraft is one month out from its inaugural lunar landing. Resilience launched on January 15, 2025 from NASA's Kennedy Space Center. The SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket also carried Firefly Aerospace's Blue Ghost Lunar Lander, which took a slightly faster path and successfully touched down on the moon on March 2. The landing was upright, stable, and within 100 meters of its landing target near Mons La Triel, making Firefly the first commercial company to have its tech successfully touch down on the moon. That was our next Gen Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Drone Tag calls out Dubai for copycat design. Drone Tag has confronted the Dubai Civil Aviation Authority for allegedly selling an identical copy of its remote ID device, the Mini. Despite its legal team reaching out several times, they have not received a response. Drone Tag is an EU funded and NATO supported manufacturer that produces a variety of technologies for drones. Several of these are remote ID devices, which serve as a sort of digital license plate to broadcast the drone's location data to other parties. One of the remote ID devices that Drone Tag offers is the Mini. This is an FAA approved pocket sized device compliant with both direct and network remote ID standards. The startup recently noticed a product on the Dubai Civil Aviation Authority's website called the Spot Me that bears an uncanny resemblance to the Mini. Drone Tag claims the only apparent difference between the pair is one extra LED indicator and poor rendering of the Spot Me. The Spot Me remote ID is also tied to the DCAA monitoring system mobile app, which allegedly contains graphics and product images that are owned by Drone Tag. In responses, Drone Tag sent the DCAA an official complaint detailing each violation. So far, however, the authority has responded with radio silence. After these messages, Klein Vision debuts $1 million flying car. Welcome back. Klein Vision debuts $1 million flying car. Slovakia-based developer Klein Vision recently unveiled the production model prototype of its flying car. If all goes to plan, the air car will hit the market in early 2026. The air car is the outcome of more than a decade of work from Klein Vision co-founders Stefan Klein and Anton Zajac. The company was officially established in 2017 and had its first flying car prototype in the air by 2021. It has retractable wings, folding tail surfaces, and a parachute deployment system, and is capable of transforming from a sports car to an airplane in merely 2 minutes and 15 seconds. Since its maiden flight, the original air car has completed more than 500 takeoffs and landings through 170 flight hours. The manufacturer has moved on to the second prototype, featuring several upgrades from the initial version. It uses advanced composite construction, allowing it to be around 440 pounds lighter than the original, as well as a 280 horsepower with FADEC to make the design more user-friendly. Co-founder Anton Zajac said, quote, We're not just witnessing the future of transportation, we are engineering it, end quote. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.